Well, we've gone through all of the elements which have been mentioned in the Bible. But there's one element which were known to the ancients which is not mentioned in the Bible. And that is Mercury. Mercury is one of the strangest metals of all because it is liquid. And it impressed the alchemists so much. Indeed, it impressed the medieval chemists as well. They, they thought it must have special power. And it was believed that mercury combined with sulfur actually could form all of the other metals. Strange beliefs indeed. Paracelsus, living 500 years ago, believed that chemistry should be aimed toward more practical directions or beneficial directions and as a result he made compounds of mercury which he showed combated raging diseases such as syphilis and as a matter of fact mercury compounds have been used to treat syphilis for 500 years. Mercury is mined from cinnabar, a reddish, this is a very crude example of cinnabar but you can see the reddish veins running through this rock and we can find crystals of cinnabar as well here is a very beautiful crystal of cinnabar this comes from China and this is a mineralogical masterpiece we would never heat this up in order to get the metal mercury from this mineralogical wonder a beauty. It is easy to make mercury from cinnabar and other merc mercury compounds. We just heat it up. As a result, the metallic mercury can flow away in little droplets. And sometimes you can actually find mercury as little beads of sweat in, embedded in the cinnabar. As it turns out, mercuric oxide historically was very important because it was from mercuric oxide that oxygen was formed by Priestley and later it was realized that if you heat mercuric oxide into mercury and oxygen then there could not be the possibility of phlogiston to explain. He uses a theory but we're going to be talking about phlogiston in a couple more chapters. More about that later.